Hi guys, welcome to the session on data science. So data science is a very booming sector nowadays because of the abundance of data available online. So what happens in data science? What's the basic of it, right? We take a large amount of data. We take, um, you know, hundreds and thousands of rows of data. We analyze it using algorithms, using softwares, we will analyze it. And after analyzing it, we will be pushing it through a funnel and trying to get business intelligence or actionable result from it. Okay, that's basically what data is about. We do with data science. What do we do at the Avoda course, right? What happens at the Avoda course for data science? The first step at Avoda course is we teach you guys how to do scraping. So scraping means that's the first step of data science. Right? Because if you want to process data, you need data, right? In data science, you learn how to process data. So if you want to process data, you guys need data. You need a lot of data. So what we teach in scraping is we teach you guys to go online, use automated algorithms using Python and Beautiful Soap or using Octopars or some kind of an open source software, free software. And we teach you guys how to use this particular software to extract data in bulk from online resources, from websites, Google, wherever it is. After extracting all of this data, after extracting all of this data, we then teach you guys, we then train you guys on how to use this particular data and push it through uh, processing, uh, you know, machine learning and uh, uh, machine learning processing softwares like GCP. In GCP, we have ML machine learning, uh, auto ML tables is the feature that we teach. And in Azure, we use Hadoop uh, to try to process the data and get actionable business intelligence from it. You look at insurance companies like LIC, um, you know, uh, insurance companies abroad. Insurance companies have started using data science to try and understand if a particular person is a good, uh, what should be the premium for a particular person. If he or she is an accident risk, if he or she is a risky kind of uh, investment. Right? For an insurance company, we are investment. Now, when we give them the premium, they are hoping that nothing will happen to us, right? They are hoping when we give them 1 lakh rupees to an insurance company, they are hoping that nothing happens to us. And we are hoping that if something happens to us, they'll give us money so for them and for us the better thing is that nothing happens to us now that is being uh, made uh, that is be, that is being made into a scientific approach through data science by analyzing a person's past genetic uh, uh, disease uh, any kind of possible genetic diseases uh, exactly how many times they've had an accident whether they're a smoker or not how much they eat what is their weight using this data to try to calculate the insurance premium this is a very interesting aspect of data science another interesting aspect of data science is to try and figure out the price of used cars right what is the correct price of a used car right the correct price of a used car is something that we can't really understand right we don't know what is the correct price we look at average data we look at average data the overall average data and we see you know let's say it's a hyundai i20 hyundai i20 three year old so and so problems with the engine there's a price we can analyze uh, similar cars available in other online platforms take that amount of what each car is costing in each online platform take that amount and process it and then come up with the actionable intelligence on that and then use that to try and figure out how much my car should cost there are the, the reason i give this example is because there are companies and startups that have recruited from avoda that use these very examples that use these very methods uh, that use these things practically to try to figure out what is the price of a car to try to figure out what is the price of your car so if you are going on that platform and putting your car they will suggest an amount to you based on this bulk data so this is data science data science applications i've just given you two examples one in finance one in automobile cars i can give examples from every place look at netflix look at youtube why is youtube interesting youtube studies what you guys want youtube studies what you guys love and they study that and based on that study youtube will keep giving you suggestions and recommendations Look at Netflix, same logic, Hotstar, same, Amazon Prime, same. Facebook also uses data science to try and figure out what will engage you and show you that again and again. So data science is something that is, you know, becoming extremely popular across the corporate world because it brings real revenue, it brings real improvement to the corporate side, it brings real improvement, real revenue and real revenue growth. So that is why data science is becoming tremendously popular, okay? So I really hope that you guys have understood what, what the data science industry can do uh, in terms of salary package that data science uh, course you know it gives some of the highest salary packages in the industry the problem is is that the course is kind of difficult it's not very easy so it's not like you know you guys can have an easy course and have a easy uh, and have a big salary also so the salary package is very big for data science but the problem is is that the course 
is very difficult it's not very easy but you know the good news is at abutha if you think that the data science course is difficult you can always switch from data science to any other course that you want according to your caliber according to your interest you can always do that right uh, so yeah so uh, the course is actually uh, uh, quite difficult but still the salary package when once you guys get a placement is quite high the format is the same 3 months of rigorous online training followed by 3 months of internship uh, after which you will move into the placement assistance funnel so i hope you guys really understood what the data science industry is through this uh, small presentation i will see you guys for the presentation of the next course thank you